everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you the latest and easiest method to unroot or unbrick your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch back to completely stock. This is for the Epic 4G Touch only, it will not work on any other device. But anyways, this will take you completely back to stock if you need to take it back in for warranty reasons or just want to go back to stock for any reason whatsoever. It does not matter the setup of your phone, whether you're running a specific ROM or anything, it does not matter at all. This will work for any setup on your device. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to download a file or take you to a link where you can click on a link to download a file and it will be an .exe file. You can go ahead and go to your PC then. This is what that link will take you to. Just click on this file right here and download it. It will be an .exe file. Once downloaded, uh, you can go ahead and go into your downloads folder actually. So uh, go ahead and go into it and you'll see there's an .exe file up at the top here. Before you do double click on it, I recommend going to your desktop and making a new folder. So go ahead and go to your desktop and hit new folder and then just say unroot uh, e4gt or you can name it anything you want just so that you know what it is. So that's what I uh, have named it, and you'll see Unroot E4GT. This will take you back to Complete Stock Ice Cream Sandwich FI27, which is the latest build. So what you can do is double click on that .exe file that we did download, and then hit Run. And now we need to extract it. Now hit this dot 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 on the extraction process, and then go on your desktop, find that Unroot E4GT folder that we have put on our desktop. So select that folder and hit OK, and then just hit Extract. It's going to go ahead and automatically extract the files necessary into that folder, so be patient with this extraction. All right, and once done extracting, you can double click on that Unroot E4GT folder that we've made, and you'll see another folder inside called Odin OC. You can double click on that, and then you'll see an application here. Go ahead and double click on that as well. And this will bring up your Odin One Click. Uh, it'll take us back to FI27 stock. So once uh, you have this open, you're ready to go. Go ahead and power off your Epic 4G Touch. So just go ahead and completely shut it down. And once fully powered off, we need to get into what is called download or Odin mode. To do so, press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time. Keep them both held down, and then a screen should pop up, this warning screen. You can let go, and then press volume up to continue. So go ahead and press volume up to continue, and this will take us into download mode. So you'll see downloading. Uh, once this mode comes up, you can just plug your device into your PC. Um, so go ahead and just plug this on in. And there we go. So it'll plug it on in. Uh, if for any reason you'll see this yellow box pop up. If Windows is installing drivers or anything like that, let them install. Give that a bit of time. But you'll see this yellow box pop up that says common. That a number. If that doesn't show up, you can try installing drivers. I can link to those in the description. You can try reinstalling drivers. Um, other troubleshooting steps with Odin would be to try a different cable. That's the main one. Make sure you try different cables. Try different USB ports, and that's uh, about it for troubleshooting steps. So those are the main ones with Odin, so try those if you're having issues. But once this yellow box pops up, you can just go ahead and hit Start, and then it'll go ahead and run through the uh, unrooting process for us. You'll see a progress bar on both Odin and the phone itself. So you'll see downloading, you'll see a little blue bar pop up. It does take a bit of time. Uh, this unrooting process is going to take anywhere up to about 10 minutes. If it gets hung up or stuck on anything, uh, again, try those troubleshooting steps that I mentioned earlier in the video. So I'm going to let it do its thing. Make sure you don't unplug your device. Make sure your computer doesn't go into hibernation mode or shut off, anything like that. Um, and then I will be back once it is nearing completion. All right, so it's just finishing up. Uh, modem is usually the last thing, and once done with the modem, it should automatically reboot your device. All right, so reset, pass, and then it should automatically reboot your phone. You'll see it is rebooting now. Uh, you're not necessarily done yet. You could be done. Um, if your phone, it, it should take a little bit of time to boot up, but if it takes uh, longer than usual or just keeps rebooting or gets stuck on a specific screen, then there are troubleshooting steps to fix that. Mine should boot up fine, just I know that based on the setup I had previously. So it booted up just fine. And now what I'm going to recommend is let's say my phone got in a boot loop or you're having issues. Let's say if it boots up fine, but a bunch of programs are forced closing, anything like that. What we're going to need to do is a factory reset. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so to do that factory reset, let, again, let's say your phone's not booting up or anything like that. What we're going to need to do is you can just pull your battery if you're in a boot loop. 
um, or power off your device if you're having issues with force closing with applications and such. So let it power down. Now once fully powered off, we're gonna need to get into stock recovery. To do so, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time until the Samsung screen lights up. So go ahead and let go once it does. So let go once that Samsung screen lights up and it will take us into our stock recovery. So here it is, stock recovery. Uh, now what we're going to need to do is, I can go ahead and zoom in a little bit on our stock recovery. Uh, now again, all you have to do is go ahead and use the volume keys to navigate, the power button to select, press volume down twice until white data factory reset is there, press the power button to select it, and then hit yes, delete all user data, and press the power button to select it. So I can go ahead and do it, I don't have any data that needs to be saved. So again, just go ahead and do a factory reset in that stock recovery, that reset will take a bit of time, it'll wipe everything wipe all your data and such, and then hit reboot system now. And then your phone should boot up just fine after you do this factory reset. It will take a little bit longer than usual to do the boot up, but again, it will boot up and everything should work perfectly. So that's it. That would be the latest and easiest method to unroot your Epic 4G Touch back to stock FI27 Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.